Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm Giovanni. Ciao a tutti. Hello, everybody. Bienvenuti. Da <laughs> jiao. Um, today, we're going to do a pattern hack. Um, and we're going to start off with the day dress pattern. And we're just going to use that as the starting point. And so we're going to go from this. And what we're going to do is um, add a waist seam and uh, make the bottom uh, portion into a fuller skirt. So we're going to start with this and we're going to go to and then we're going to go to this. <laughs> All right, so today um, I have the uh, day dress pattern and we're going to um, make another pattern and we're going to do it by adding our waist seam first. So um, I drew in all the, the, not all the seam allowances, I drew the center front seam allowance, I drew the side uh, seam seam allowance in, and um, I'm just picking um, an arbitrary measurement um, for that, that waist seam. And I'm going to go 13 inches down from the center front. So I'm starting with my center front and I have my center back my back piece here um, and for the demonstration um, I'm going to be using a sharpie so you can actually see the lines that I'm drawing um, but usually I'll use a um, 2H pencil just because it's a it's a harder line and it's a finer line um, but for this uh, I'll be using the big fat sharpie <laughs> so um, my waistline is going to be um, 13 inches down from the center front and I'm measuring on my sewing line so that's where I'm going to place my 13 inch mark so I'm placing it right there and then from this mark I'm going to square out a line from the center line out to the side seam so I'm placing my ruler you can also use an L square if you want to, but you just you want to make sure that that line is going to be perpendicular and comes out towards the waist, comes out towards the side seam. Oh, this sh Sharpie kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> All right, here we go again. All right, so that's my waist. That's going to be where I separate this uh, this piece. All right, so that's that's that. So I'm going to separate these two pieces. Just so we're clear, this is the center front, and this is my center front, okay? And now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take the, um, the front top portion of the pattern, and I'm going to lay it on top of the back along the side seam, and I'm just going to match where this piece ends. And that's how I'm going to figure out my line for the, um, for the waist seam on the back. And make sure that it matches exactly. I've got my notches that are matched. And so I'm going to mark off this little section here. So. This is where I'm going to be drawing my uh, back waistline. So from this mark, 
I'm not squaring off from this mark because the side seam, the side seam isn't like truly parallel to the center back. So I'm keeping my ruler on the mark here at the side, but I'm looking to square, to, to get a square line off the center back. All right, so this is my center back line. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to separate the two pieces. Got our center front and our center, center back. And then we've got our center front, center front and center back skirt pieces. The next step is we're going to turn these straight pieces into fuller pieces. And we do that by slashing and spreading the pattern. So and at, in this step, all I'm going to do, I'm going to draw lines from the waist down to the hem. And just depending where you want the fullness and how full you want it, your lines can change. I'm going to just do a set of um, lines that are two inches apart from each other. All right, so those are my lines. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting up, I'm going to be cutting up these lines towards the waist. And I'm not, I'm going to try to not cut through this waistline just so, because I still want the piece, pieces to be hinged together. But if you cut through them, it's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal. And then once I do this, um, you guys will understand what I mean by slashing and spreading. And I always, um, you know, the, the pattern is always on the table. It's flat. I'm never cutting anything in the air. And I always, you know, this hand is always like controlling the paper and holding it down in place. I'm just gonna, so I've slashed it and I'm gonna spread this out just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. So this is still our waist, right? This is our waist and this was the hem and this is how we're getting our fullness. So the hem is, the hem is gonna get larger, it's gonna be curved and, but this measurement is going to stay the same. This measurement is not going to change. This is why we're keeping it on these like little hinges, you know? So this is what's happening right now. So we went from this straight seam, right? To having a curved waist seam on the skirt and we're going to have a fuller skirt. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the back. The back is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to slash it and I'm going to spread it. Um, um, okay, so we're going to go on to the next step. I'm going to, um, what we're going to do is make this into a finished pattern piece and then we'll need to add seam allowance on, onto this. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper Don't forget you still have that um, seam allowance down the center front. If you don't want any seam allowance, what you can do is cut this piece on the fold and I can show you guys how to do that after we do this one. So, but I'm going to tape these pieces down. I'm going to tape my center piece. And then I'm just going to do just an arbitrary number between each measurement, between each of these uh, panels that I slashed. And remember, we're opening it up at the hem. So it's getting wider at the hem, all right? We want the waist to stay the same. So for this, for this exercise, I'm just gonna do about three inches. So here, I'm gonna do about three inches between each, each, each of these panels. And make sure to tape stuff down and make sure nothing is shifting. That doesn't need to shift. So again, there I have my ruler measuring out three inches. And I'm going to tape that down in a couple spots. And then again on this panel, getting three inches. And then the last, I'm going to do three inches. Okay, so, right? I got three inches in each of these sections. You don't have to do that. This is going to give you a more even fullness. Um, you could vary it. You could start off with less here and increase as you as you go out this way, so you'll have more fullness out in the side. Let's say you don't want that much fullness down the center. You could just slash the pattern along the side and just open up these side panels. I mean, there's tons of variations that you can do with this. All right, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to trace this out. Sorry, I need to use my, my big old Sharpie. <laughs> Please don't use a big fat sharpie. <laughs> use your pencil.
just getting that piece of tape out of the way so I can trace the, the waste. All right, and then I'm going to remove this, but don't forget you already have seam allowance on the side and on the center. All right, so that's what we've got. We're just going to draw back in that seam allowance that we had. And we had three eighths here. Um, on the original pattern, there is like a turn back, so you're going to want to ignore that. You're just going to want to make this line straight all the, way to, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the hem. All right, so this is the line that we cut on, so we need to add seam allowance to that. I'm going to add 3 eighths. Oops, sorry, I'm actually... Need to add three eighths to that. Okay. And then for the hem, my ruler's not long enough, but what I like to do is start from the waist, and I, I use my ruler. I'll use the length of it. Obviously, if it was longer, it's easier. But I'm going to follow the shape of this waist to get my hem. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going along. I'm going along the waist on the sewing line with one end of my ruler and then just tracing that line at the hem. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then here, when you get to the center front, you want it to be, make sure it's perpendicular. You want it to be squared off and not at some angle, unless that's what you're going for. So here is the original line right here. So I just need to add an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm following this line that I had just drawn and I'm adding what I need to get to the, my original length. Okay, so there's my hem. And um, also on the, the day dress pattern, the hem, I believe, is quite big. So for a hem like this, you're going to want to just do like a clean finish quarter inch hem. So you can put, just add like half inch on top of this. Or since we already had the hem built in and the length is fine, um, you don't necessarily have to add anything. You might want to figure out a new length. You can always make this shorter, longer. But for a hem like this, I would just do like a you know double quarter inch uh, turn back. Okay. And then um, the next thing we need to do. So. We're going to have to add seam allowance to the, the upper portion at the waist.
So I, I am not going to ret <laughs> retrace this whole piece. <laughs> I'm just going to tape some paper at the waist. And I'm going to add my 3 8 seam allowance. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to do the back skirt now. We're, we're, we're getting rid of that seam allowance because we're putting the back on the fold. You can put the front on the fold too. You can keep the seam, you, I, you know, choose your adventure. <laughs> so when I'm making the, when I'm making the pattern, for anything that's mirrored or on the fold, I'm gonna take that, you know, a sheet of paper that's big enough to accommodate the pattern piece. And I am just literally folding it in half. And anytime I have a mirrored piece or something that's on the fold, I'm always working this way and cutting, cutting cutting the, the finished pattern piece out on the fold because I want, when it unfolds, I want it to be exactly, you know, exactly the same. All right, so I'm not going to trim off the seam allowance. I'm just going to place, so you can see, I'm just going to place that line right on the fold itself. All right, so here it is. I've got the center back line on the folded line. So our seam allowance, it's gone. We don't need it anymore. And we'll end up putting a notch here and that'll be our, um, our center back mark. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure out three inches between each panel at the hem and I'm just going to tape down the piece just my last panel and like I said if you wanted it fuller instead of like I mean on you know if you wanted to you could swing it out this far if you wanted to it's I don't know just choose your adventure <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. I'm just going to trace around this pattern. And we already had seam allowance on the side. We need to add seam allowance here. So this was our center back. And then we cut this out on the fold. And now we have our full piece here. And uh, we'll use this center, this center fold line. That's gonna be your grain line. Just in case you were wondering. All right, and then we can add a notch here, just so you know where you need to match the, um, the back bodice seam. So, okay. So this center line, you know, our fold line is gonna be matching this uh, seam line, our center back seam line. Right, and I'm going to add seam allowance to the back waist. I'm just going to tape paper on there. So that's where your center back skirt's gonna match. All right, there we go. So we got our back bodice and our back skirt, which is on the fold. And then we have our front with our seam allowance and our front skirt. I moved through it um, quicker than I normally would. So just make sure you're taking your time. Make sure the lines are nice and smooth. Um, at your hem and at the waist. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have fun with it. <laughs>